to be honest, I have had an extremely lonely journey for most of my life. For most of my life, I've also been nomadic, living out of my forerunner for the past four years now. And that in itself has been a whole other lonely fucking journey. I've been mostly single for like eight years now. I have felt so alone throughout my whole entire life and I have struggled with a massive amount of mental health issues because of the abuse and trauma that I've been through in my life. But you know what I've proven to myself is that I'm a motherfucking badass. I'm a motherfucking badass. I might feel really alone sometimes and I go through phases where I lose all of my fucking friends and I get so much hate from people. But I prove to myself that I can still do it. I can still provide for myself. I can still show up for myself. Even when I don't want to. Even when it's fucking difficult to. Even when I have to have like a massive amount of patience with myself in the process. I'm grateful for the lifestyle that I have because I get to kind of work according to my mental health. That is part of the reason I chose this lifestyle is because of how bad my mental health issues were. I was so severely depressed and suicidal working a full-time job and I had to just keep showing up to work and it got to the point where I had to take so many mental health days and then I felt like a fucking failure because I couldn't show up to my work in the way that I needed to because of how suicidal I was. So I am grateful that I live in a lifestyle where I can provide for my needs first. And I know that there are still people who get pissed off at me. There are still people who get pissed off at me for providing for myself, for taking care of myself first before I show up to a job. Putting up being like, I'm not going to arrive there until this time because I have to take care of myself. My mental health is more important. Me not dipping into a suicidal darkness is more important than me showing up to a job that might just encourage that. So today, I want to encourage you to take care of yourself. Take care of your fucking self. Ignore what other people fucking think about you. If people look down on you because you are in a period of darkness, if you are going through some type of depression, dark night of the soul, or experiencing severe anxiety in any way, you're going through a spiritual awakening, which if you've been through some spiritual awakenings in your life, you know that shit is... It's not all sunshine and rainbows, guys. It fucking sucks a lot of the time. You are rewriting your whole entire identity. Everything is crumbling around you and inside of you. And if that's what you're going through right now, I hope that you have patience with yourself. I hope that you have patience with yourself to get out of bed. I hope that you know that if one of the only things that you did today was get out of bed, that that's fucking amazing. I want to encourage you to take care of yourself, do more than that, drink some water, eat some food, take care of your children or your animals if you got them. Take care of yourself. But you are doing so much better than you think that you are sometimes. Especially when we're going through phases of darkness and we're receiving judgment from other people for not providing for them in the ways that they need. Fuck them. If, if you're going through some period of darkness and you are not able to be the person that other people want you to be. The people what the people consider is the standard of acceptable for who you should be, what sh you should be providing to them or to life in general, or to even yourself. Fuck them. Fuck them. You're doing way better than you think that you are. And you showing up for yourself right now is the thing that is the most important. That is the number one most important thing that you can be doing in your life right now is showing up for yourself and taking care of your fucking mental health taking care of your fucking needs okay okay i get it if you are on the other side of that as well and you feel alone because the people in your life need to take space from you i've been on both sides of this i'm on both sides of this 
have compassion for the people in your life who are going through shit right now. Maybe they need to take care of themselves. Maybe they need you to have a little fucking patience with them while they learn and grow. We're all going through something right now. We have just exited, we are exiting out of a season of darkness, the winter time. The sun is out and it's so fucking lovely and I'm soaking in it even though I didn't get out of bed until like 3 o'clock today. And I'm putting off going to a job to take care of myself because I needed to. I needed, I needed to take time alone in nature to fucking get my head straight. And I can feel that some of the boundaries that I've placed with people are upsetting them. Sometimes you have to create stability inside of yourself before you can bring a stable version of yourself to other people. Have patience with yourself if that is what you're going through right now in life. And I hope that you find people who are patient with you. I left California and came back up to Oregon because I desperately needed love. I needed love from my friends. And when I came here, I found out that the people that I loved the most had built a massive amount of hate towards me because of some mistakes that I'd made that didn't even have to do with them. I feel so alone. I feel so alone and I can feel that there are certain people that I am upsetting because I came to the woods to take care of myself because I said I couldn't stay somewhere because I have to meet my needs right now. And I have to let that shit go. I have gone through so many phases of losing people in my life that it feels like second nature, but it never gets, never gets easier. And I think right now the situation that I'm in feels so deeply painful. I feel so extremely alone with what I'm going through and I feel so hated, that shit makes you feel even more alone. And this is something that I've gone through in my life before. I grew up in Japan. I was hated by a whole, what felt like a whole country, dude. Like, I've been bullied my whole entire life. I've been hated by groups of people so many times in my life, groups of people that I loved. So I can see this as a repetitive cycle and something that's a repetitive thing from a childhood trauma. And I don't necessarily know how to fix it. I don't know how to stop going through situations like this. And I find myself over here literally just like begging the universe. Begging God to send me somebody to love me. So I don't have to be alone anymore. I have people that love me but they're a long distance. And sometimes it sucks not to have anybody with you in your life. So I know like firsthand how difficult it can be sometimes when you are so depressed to pull yourself up and take care of yourself and the things that you need to take care of. But I'm proud of you for doing it. I'm proud of myself for doing it. I'm proud of myself for showing up today when I didn't want to. Even if it took me a little bit of time, it took me a little chunk of time to get up and take care of myself and my dogs. But you know, I fucking did it. I fucking did it. And it feels good to get up and to go outside and to put my feet in the fucking grass and Breathe the air. 
go outside guys please drink water please drink water please eat some food i've been barely eating food for the past few weeks i've lost like 15 pounds from stress i just i get it but take care of yourself take care of yourself sometimes you have to force yourself to eat and i don't really believe in forcing yourself to do most things but I have been barely consuming probably like barely a hundred calories a day for a few weeks, possibly for a month for the most part. Take care of yourself. I love you guys and I hope that you are doing amazing. And I hope that if you're not doing good that things improve for you drastically because you fucking deserve it. We all fucking deserve love. We all fucking deserve it to be surrounded by people who actually love and accept us even with our mistakes i deserve that you deserve that we deserve people who will be patient with us through our mental health struggles through our healing process through our awakening you deserve all the amazing things in this life we both do all of us do no matter what you're going through, I believe in you.